What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to talk to you guys about my camera setup. Uh, this was actually requested by one of you guys and it's something that I've actually thought about doing but never actually, but never really got to it. Um, so when I first started making videos, I uh, was using my Canon 80D, this one right here. And the reason why, I used to have a 60D and the thing is... I wanted to get into making videos, but at the same time, I still wanted to use a camera that I could have to take pictures with, uh, because that's mainly the first thing that I really got into. Uh, I got into photography first before I started making videos, and um, I just figured the camera that I had didn't record video, but the thing is, it didn't have autofocus, and that was an issue. Every time I would try to make a video, or if I would try to be in front of the camera, it was always going to be hard for me to get it to be in focus um, because there was actually points where I would record and yeah everything would be blurry so eventually I decided to make the jump to the Canon 80D I already had the lenses I was actually contemplating with going with Sony with the mirrorless cameras but I, already, I had a few lenses and I didn't want to make the switch to uh, uh, Sony and also um, with Sony lenses, some of them are actually more expensive than what I had already and yes you could buy an adapter but that was just kind of going to change the focal length of every single lens. Um, but anyways, I ended up getting a Canon 80D which is, uh, it's a really good camera. Um, the only thing is I think at this point they're still a bit expensive uh, and I'm pretty sure they've dropped in price. But if you're looking to get it, if you want something where you can do videos and do photography at the same time, um, if you want to spend a little bit less than the 80D, I would actually recommend the 70D. Uh, my sister has that camera and honestly, maybe I would have been okay getting that same camera and just saving about $500 whenever I bought it because I think that's what the difference was. Um, that was a mistake and the only reason why I got the 80D was because it had more focus points and the focus was a little bit quicker than the 70D. That's what I'm that's what I was using before. I used to use the um, so let's talk about the lenses. Um, I used to use the kit lens which is the 18 to 135. Um, this is the lens that came with the camera, that's the lens that I ended up using. And then eventually I made I decided I needed a little bit more of a wide angle just because and also the lens is a lot lighter than the kit lens so trying to vlog with this camera with this lens was a little bit overwhelming yes i know some people do it but just because i was starting with it i figured i didn't want to be walking around with the giant camera another lens that i use for my pictures is the 70 to 300 lens uh, this is a very cheap lens it's an old lens and um but it actually happens to get some decent pictures still. Obviously, you can actually do some corrections on Lightroom, which is what I use to edit my pictures. So I go from Lightroom and then I do some small touch-ups if needed in Photoshop. Um, now, this lens is my actual favorite lens when it comes to pictures. The quality is better than all my other lenses, which is a Sigma 1.4 uh, 50mm. Yes, you can buy the 50mm 1.8 from Canon, which is actually still a good lens. Uh, this is a little bit sharper than the 1.8. Uh, uh, and whenever I got it, I bought it used and it still works flawless. And I think I paid 400 for it. But at this point, you can actually get them cheaper than you know what I paid. Because this is uh, maybe 8 years old since I had it, maybe. Eight, nine years old um, and like I mentioned earlier the lens that I just recently got is the it's actually made by Canon it's the 10 to 18 millimeter wide angle lens and the focus on this lens is a lot quicker than obviously this and this which I, you're not gonna vlog with this um, this is a good setup if you want to make videos at home or if you feel comfortable walking around with the camera holding it because it does get heavy so this is something that you have to get used to and a lot of vloggers that have been doing it for a while um, you know they tend to upgrade cameras and everything but if anything if you want a camera with that 
has a switchable lenses. I would recommend looking into a mirrorless camera, which is the body is a lot smaller, so it's going to be a little bit lighter. And then the lenses tend to be a little bit smaller, but um, it kind of depends on what you get. Now, or you just get used to carrying this big camera. Now, the camera that, I, that you guys are seeing this video was or is being recorded by a Panasonic uh, Lumix 10 or Panasonic LX10. Uh, I just recently got this camera and the reason why I got it was because I wanted something that was a lot smaller for me to carry around in certain areas. There's places where I don't feel comfortable carrying the big camera just because of space wise and everything like that. Um, you know, it's an expensive camera and there's certain certain areas that I wouldn't like to be carrying that camera just for safety reasons um, not because I don't want to get robbed but because I just don't want anything to happen to the camera you know I'd be more upset if I ruined a $1,500 camera over a $300 camera which is what I paid for this one uh, I know a lot of people use the Canon G7X which is actually a good camera the reason why I went with this was because it's actually it was a hundred or a hundred $50 less than the Canon G7X Mark II and also the focal length or the depth of field that you get with this camera is a lot nicer than what you get with the uh, the Canon so whenever I'm doing a video if you guys notice the background gets more blurry than what um, than what you get with the Canon G7X but the thing with the Canon is that it's better, from what I've noticed, it's better in low light. And this camera, whenever there's not enough light, it tends to um, kind of search for your face a, a little bit more than what it should. So it kind of goes in focus, out of focus, in focus, while it's trying to get your um, actual face. Uh, that's the only downside, but I really don't do that much filming in low light situations uh, but I think the camera is good enough to get the footage that I need I've looked at comparisons between this one and the G7X and obviously if you're walking or moving the Canon does a better job at keeping things stabilized so that's kind of another thing that you might want to consider if you're looking to doing a if you want to have a vlogging camera but like I said to you guys this Panasonic days that I am I've never had a Panasonic I was just taking a risk with this one but I've heard good things about the cameras and yeah I kind of wanted to give it a shot so that's what I use for my photography and my videos I don't use the Canon too much anymore for uh, videos actually I mainly use it for photography if you guys go on my Instagram, a lot of my pictures come from this camera and every now and then you might get a phone picture. But yeah guys, um, I don't know if there's anything else that I'm missing. My recommendation if you're looking into making, wanting to get into making videos, um, do not go out and, and don't feel the need that you have to spend over a thousand dollars to get a vlogging setup. You don't have to do that. Um, Personally, I would recommend going with a point-and-shoot camera because you actually get good quality. This camera shoots in 4K. I've never done it. I haven't used it for 4K yet, but I don't feel like I have a need for it unless I'm actually trying to do a, like a cinematic type field, and that's maybe the only time that I'll use it. Um, but for $300 that I paid, I, I bought it used off eBay. I think it was like $320, $340. Um, it's a really good camera. It was it was near new condition um, I, re I didn't really see any flaws with the camera um, but I really recommend that you start with one of those worst case if you don't like doing videos you can always sell it and you won't you won't be too deep in you know versus buying a seven to eight hundred dollar camera and upwards um, so look into a point and shoot if there's anything that I might be able to help you guys with uh, if you have any questions just leave a comment down below or send me a message on Instagram. I know this is not car related, but hopefully this helps some of you guys. So tomorrow we'll continue with the uh, car videos. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.